welcome back to my channel and today we will make some more cards with this make it and this stamps is came with this uh, cactus and uh, I directly stamp those cactus on the one of the paper which came in the kit and I am using misty cause I want to restamp it and just want to make a nice clean image for that so uh, at the same time I am uh, stamping um, various images with the cactus and I will make some card with those so I am using here momento I use um, now you can see the animation here and so basically I am uh, showing you a different techniques that you can make it the color cardstock it will also work and now I am making the three cactus here and uh, I am kind of creating a bunch of these pretty little images and I will turn all these into cards so a trick is here uh, for aligning those cactus are put those on the already stamp image which came in a paper pack with the kit and then um, you can stamp those or you can align those with these acetate sheet which is printed on it so in that way you will get the nice alignment with your perfectly straight um, cactus here now i'm planning to make this cactus a little bit taller than whatever it has so i will just double stamp it and kind of combining two images by stamping it twice and uh, now you can see that they are looking uh, really tall and nice so uh, you will get the thing now you can add a background to these cactus like the um, orange or yellowish color because these are most of the from Arizona's and they have kind of lots of heat and uh, kind of very dry atmosphere there so you can create that scene behind those I'm just uh, stamping bunch of images here to give an idea that how it uh, can work now the with the black images it works really nice but for the red and the teal color acetate sheet uh, I kind of uh, struggling with that and kind of finding matching color with that but somehow I didn't get a uh, exact match and if I get exact match still it's not uh, that kind of um, uh, nice animation there uh, with the red one I already did a flamingo card so now you can see that how I create this card this card I created with that yellow cardstock so now here I am using those two acetate sheets combining to get a different kind of card and believe me that gives a really really beautiful effect uh, on these three images and those animation too. So for that I am using the scrapbook paper uh, it is 12 by 12 paper these are little bit uh, thinner than the normal card stock so it is easy to handle. I am choosing here one five and a half by five and a half already pre-cut card base which is in craft stock and then um, I will measure this that how uh, I want to make the front envelope of it so I'm kind of putting that at uh, 5 and then I cut it out and then I score it first of all at a half and then again fold it uh, you can do this like a pocket thing here and then I decided to make this again 5 by 5 so I score it at 5 from that, that side I trim off the excess here just uh, don't need and then I decided to die cut out uh, the main window panel here and the same way I will die cut out the slider portion and for slider portion I am using the lawn fawn slider dies uh, you can get the same kind of idea from the Uchi's video channel um, they also make these cards and uh, both the cards are going to be same just uh, one is the slider one and another having the tab so now I am decorating out the love this is from hero arts and these square dies is from Sizzix you can use the stitch one also I don't have those so I am using the plain one and then I got this window so I'm just framing that with the using one upper die and just sticking that just make sure that whenever you are making this card your uh, slider 
sliding of that acetate sheet should be free so whatever you are using the glue and all just make sure that you don't stick on that um, acetate sheet so I'm just putting all the things before I'm putting that acetate sheet and I'll make sure that there is no glue uh, so that uh, it will restrict the movement now after this this is quite a simple one then uh, I have uh, now I'm using this EK success powder tool to just make sure that um, nothing is sticky then uh, I just put my panel and see that how how much should I trim for that I'm just making a pencil marks here uh, not measuring anything uh, and then I'm just trimming off uh, the thing and I'm kind of creating here a cactus family because whatever I'm choosing the paper I see is like the cactus one and all so now you can see for this I choose the love sentiment which is from MFT and this is the card uh, we made and now I'm just now I just decided to add more one more thing uh, hard here and uh, just aligning that with the same technique and uh, stamping it with the purple ink which kind of match with these two acetate colors and that gonna give me a nice animation and it's really hard to see I again stamp it in a black but in real life this card looks really awesome and then I just offset a little bit that um, grid and then I'm kind of cutting it to match the paper just sticking it on the up and bottom side now whenever you are cutting these uh, sheets just make sure that uh, one side cut on the one side so bottom side is always straight here and that helped me to line up the uh, stamp image so I didn't cut out the bottom portion I always cut out the uh, top portion so in that way for the card I stamp or it is like um, perfectly um, straight now I'm just adding a fun, uh, foam tape double sided foam tape on both the sides seeing that what sure I need just you need to add on both the side I am adding it on top but I don't think so it's needed and then I'm seeing that it's nice and moment properly then I'm just adding a little bit more powder and then I'll stick all the things together so these a sheet is like free flowing inside but if you want to make the slider card watch I shown you before you can add the a tab at this moment to the your acetate sheet so here I'm using these tags and uh, uh, for making that movement cutting off the excess and I'm making this card same as uh, the I showed uh, see on the Uchi's design video I just use the my products to make that because I don't have the Uchi's design coordinating dies for that now I'm just kind of making tab here that which can be pull and uh, so that the slider is moving I just want to match everything so I'm using that golden paper again which I use for the love die making a small banner and then I will add a little bit of that red tabs which I use from the MFT's blueprint 27 die and hard to and then I'm kind of making a matching a tab for that which can move uh, easily although I like the tab one the slider uh, is like a little bit uh, tricky to work for me and uh, but still I'm yeah you can get that you need a double sided tape just make sure that you uh, put a nice a thick foam tape so you can double it up and put little bit of powder there the same powder anti-static powder we use so that it will move properly now for the card waste I just decided to add a little bit of white stitch line on both the sides just add to little bit more interest and uh, then I'll stick this whole envelope uh, in front of that card and uh, I just decided to add those red and um, leftover pieces inside so it kind of match everything the same time the sentiments kind of um, putting everything together so these are the three cards we use the sliders and the each time we are moving this now this cardstock came in a kit I'm just kind of putting them in a half cutting them in a half and scoring them in a half I'm making here tall cards so I'm going four and a quarter inch uh, there and uh, then I'm scoring it at five and a half. 
so we already created some cards you can see those on my channel so <clears throat> there is one pocket came with this kit and it's kind of uh, doing animation with this heart so I decided to use um, this pocket also for making card the same time I'll show you the different way of uh, making this pocket or you can we can make the same way also so let's see how it's gonna work and for that I'm planning to use uh, these uh, stamps and this paper so I have this left over with me and I'm planning to use that this card base and this paper so I'll first of all put this paper on my grid mat and see uh, that I'll get kind of uh, even space all around it and then I want to make it very um, straight at the same time I want to score uh, some lines so I'll just see that this is like mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me it's like four uh, inch um, uh, cardstock and so I decided to uh, make the window of uh, if I score at one here and five here so I'll just score at half on both the sides <coughs> that's lead to me then I have this measure this so after measuring it and uh, scoring it half and half basically I'm just trimming off the excess uh, and here I'm just kind of creating a pocket uh, for that um, acetate leftover acetate whatever you have left over you can make it as your own customized size so basically size doesn't matter here just the technique that how i made that i just folded the three sides of that paper and then i need to uh, first of all i decided that i'll put the foam tape inside to move that slider again but then i thought that it, it is not needed uh, so i just skip that idea afterwards uh, then I just mark some pencil marks to get the exact dimension where I want to cut. This is the black paper so I, sh I thought that you guys couldn't see it properly so I'm using here white gel pen uh, to just show you that uh, how I create the window niche inside cause I don't have these kind of dies which are perfectly matching and as I said that you may have a different size of acetate sheet left over with you so you um, need to work with that now I'm using the exacto knife and thin hole scale and I'm just cutting the window inside uh, to put that acetate again I'm just measuring it that I'm cutting it properly cause if your window is slow, small you can make it big but if it's big the acetate will fall out then after making that i'm using here um double sided tape uh you have to make sure that you will not uh get excess glue so that's why i'm using that now th these this is the new trick i have found it that i use the back side of any a uh, sticker sheet and put the sheets there and then i cut it off the desired sh shape so I in this way I get a thinner stick uh, which I don't have with me and I can customize the tape with me so after that I'll just put this acetate inside just make sure that it is uh, properly in place and vertical this type should not be uh, get uh, tangled or something like that and then after this I just decided to add a small punch and here I'm using one inch punch it's from ek success uh, you can use any punch you have or if you don't have punch you can directly use tap and so after that i just want to need to stamp those sunglasses inside this cardstock so i'm measuring that and this is the um, way i'm using uh, the stamps of those sunglasses now i use the momento black ink i use the uh, black um mft's black hybrid ink and then i just realized that hero arts black inks really work nice with these acetates these are really nice and black and crisp so uh, this is the really a simple technique that how you can use misty to stamp those sunglasses in a row and uh, you gonna don't miss the 
if you don't have misty just make sure that first of all whenever you stamp your images it's dark crisp and nice and uh, this is the way i just stamp all these images on that paper uh, now i decided to add little bit of color to these images so i'm using spectrum aqua markers here which those are just supposed to in my uh i just see that uh, but you can use any markers you have now i'm just cutting those two sentiments that says um, be my vision and one sunglasses the pink sunglasses this acetate sheet is having kind of film on it so make sure to remove that and then i will just put all the things together to make this card work as the uh, first uh, one did and then for the uh, next card whatever we have with that pocket i do the same thing so i hope you like whatever i share today and soon i will show you the how you can use those stamps without animation grid so uh, i already made those cards and a video is on the way so until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye